know me, and so you know that I well, went back to school in the fall to finish my psychology degree. Um, and I was really nervous when I was signing up about uh, signing up for classes about how I was going to manage my schedule. So I decided I was just going to work on my honors thesis, and which I started like eight years ago. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was going to work on finishing that and then uh, also just take one class. And so in uh, my decision in my class taking, I was like, oh, my favorite English professor is offering a poetry class this semester. I think I'll take that class with Bob King because poetry is easy. <laughs> so at first, uh, you know, a lot of the assignments seemed kind of innocuous, like write a poem about your childhood, write a poem in a specific form, write a poem either about a piece of art or on a piece of art. For that one I decided, I'm the piece of art. Sorry everybody, you only already helped me with that one. Um, <laughs> but, um, so, it got a little bit more difficult, though. Uh, I ultimately, you know, uh, write uh, a poem, write an elegy to anyone or anything, dead or alive. Uh, I decided, you know what, I'll do something nice and uh, less emotional. I'll write an elegy to my TV. And so I started watching TV shows from my childhood, because that's fun. Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Uh, you know, Electric Company, today's special. And then I spent the next two days crying into my coffee while I wrote. <laughs> it was pretty traumatic. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, one of the assignments though was to write a poem with using repetition. Repetition of words, repetition of sounds, repetition of ideas. Uh, really repetition of anything. Um, and in order to inspire us, Bob decided that he was going to kill two birds with one stone and have us test out his dry erase markers at the same time. Um, so we all went up and wrote our favorite words on the board. Fuck. That word was already taken. So I had to pick my second favorite word. Kumquat. <laughs> yeah, it got the same giggles and titters when I wrote it on the board uh, in class. So, um, so after we all wrote our words on the board, we went over all the words. Uh, we discussed, why is this word your favorite word? Words like love, feast, cherish, adore. So there are all, all kinds of beautiful words. Why are these your favorite words? Um, but Bob didn't use my word. I think it made him a little uncomfortable. And so it inspired me to write this poem. I have to get my poet aesthetic on. <laughs> All right. Cool. Yeah. There you go. You guys know where you are. Bob. Oh, I'm sorry. The time is <laughs> like super cool, right? I'm not a pervert just because I like kumquats. Bob, I noticed today that my word was the only word on the board you did not utter. After I unhinged myself right there in class and shouldered the agony of testing out your abhorrent dry erase markers, it was like dragging my teeth together horizontally. That horrid squeak and grind, not quite wet enough to slide without some resistance, not quite dry enough to require pressure so that you feel like you've accomplished something. I was un left unsatiated and dispirited after all the buildup, downright crestfallen when you ignored my heartfelt application of your request. Were you avoiding the word kumquat? Resisting it? Did it make you squirm a little? Kumquat. Is it because the K-U-M sounds like cum? Is it because the Q-U-A-T sounds like twat? Appalling words, right? Almost as appalling as the winking warnings you whisper in our ears of the misfortunes of making a disagreement with a professor. 
Believe it or not, that's not why I relish reciting the word. First, have you ever eaten a kumquat? Really savored it? Sweet, delicate, delicious peel. But then when you reach the flesh, bam, tart, tangy ecstasy. Was that too sexual? Sorry, unintended entendres are a demon of mine. I once made a whole audience think that I was performing fellatio when really, I was merely improvising the indulgent gratification eating a cherry popsicle inspires. But I digress. The word kumquat just feels good to say. You're probably sitting alone right now, drinking Gatorade and listening to Wagner. Wait, is it Wagner you hate? Then Tchaikovsky. Yeah, you seem like a Tchaikovsky kind of guy. Go ahead, say it out loud. Kumquat. Turn your Bose desktop speakers down, take a swig of your BPA-infused electrolytes, press your palms into the formica sheeting of the tabletop, plant your burnt umber loafers on the slate-colored indoor-outdoor carpet, let your face proliferate over every single sound like you've got a mouthful of marbles. Pretend you're Eliza Doolittle and say kumquat. Fully close your throat, push those lips out, punch the air from your lungs, feel it whoosh over your tongue. Say it with me now. Uh, drop your jaw just a little more, as if you're making room for two or three more marbles. Revel in the vibration of your uvula. Mmm, don't press or flatten your lips together, just let them rest against each other nice and easy. You don't want to swallow your marbles. Appreciate the way the sound resonates through your whole face. Mm -hmm. If you can appreciate anything, that is. Now pucker up. You're going in for an open mouth kiss. Out, occlude your gullet and push the air out once more. Intensify your pucker just a little more at the very end. Ah, as if you're going to yawn. Stretch your cheeks down and back. Allow it to just manifest like the ah in a New Hampshire car park. Thrust your tongue to the back of your teeth, but don't raise your mandible much. Engage your diaphragm. Impel the oxygen to rise out of your chest. It's okay if you spit a little. You're alone, right? Now, do a little jazz hands and say it again. Get up and shuffle your feet. Tap dance if you fancy. Sing a song of kumquats. Grab a nine iron, grab that nine iron that you don't use anymore and strike your ergonomic office chair. Smash your MacBook. Apple products are crap anyway. <laughs> Muscle your way into a rabbit mouth foaming frenzy. Roar, scream, vociferate, kumquat. Take the stupid no Norman Rockwell print of the boy measuring himself against the wall while his beagle pup looks up in inquiry, the one that your present, uh, your uncle gave you when you graduated, and knock it through the window. You need some air. Dance on the broken glass and beat your chest to show your asshole neighbors your superiority. Kumquat! Sit back down and let the power surge through your body like the literary god that you are. <laughs> the sense of complete mastery. The thrill of conquest. Conquest! Smile with satisfaction. <laughs> Breathe the word. Conquest. Nod your head. You done did good, Bob. Conquest. You're welcome. Now go express your gratitude and buy some kumquats for my daughter's choir fundraiser. They need the money so they can teach teenagers to enunciate with confidence. Five gallons for just 59.50. I'll deliver them to class so that you can share. <laughs>